Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. Right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now. On to the video. Hey y'all, the featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Evolution Dinerbot Sludge. Now, this figure right here is one of them core class figures, so that means he's a tiny one. I picked him up today at the Walmarts when I was getting my dog some dog food and me some beer. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. We got Transformers right there on the side. Top of the package shows Sludge in his dinosaur mode. And then you got Sludge behind the open window right there where them kids can reach in and mess with him. Side of the box is more art. On the back, you got Sludge in robot mode and the dinosaur mode again. And art on the side. And that's pretty much it. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and open this figure up out the packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And welcome. The Hillbilly Prime Reviews. <coughs> Delicious. Now, once you get your core class sludge figure all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see it does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, has pretty good pictures in it and pretty easy to follow. It's also got one of them scanner boxes right there that you can use your phone to get uh, sludges biographic. So there's that for you right there. Also in these instructions, it's shown that sludge here is a combiner. He's part two of six that forms volcan volcanic, he forms a giant volcano bot. So he's a little figure that makes a bigger figure. So go ahead and put this to the side. He's also got his robot dinosaur head separate, so don't be thinking your sludge is broke when you get him opened up. This is a separate piece, and good God, look at the gap in that thing. That looks like a canoe. So anyway, we'll go ahead and put this on. It pegs on the back of the figure right there. You see the little pegs? Just snap that into place, and there you go. And that's it. He didn't come with no sword, no gun. No, nothing to defend himself. So I guess he's not a big fan of the Second Amendment. So anyway, taking a look at this figure, my God, this has got to be one of the ugliest Transformer figures I have ever seen. He just looks weird as hell. And part of the reason, the original Sludge toy, it had these wings hanging off the back that was made out of the dinosaur panels. And it kind of made him look like a Mothman. And I don't want to speak uh, ill of the Mothman because I've got a cousin who's got a friend whose ex-husband's fiance seen that damn Mothman up at Point Pleasant. And she said that thing is scary as hell. So I don't want to speak any more ill will. I know demon monster. So anyway, your problem here is the wings are actually molded into the arms of Sludge. You've got the arms of the wings right there and it just looks stupid. He's got these rounded arms and... I, I don't like that one bit. I mean, you can see that's supposed to be the back pieces of the dinosaur, but that's that's dumb. I don't like it. But the worst thing, I mean, Jesus Christ, look at the hips on this guy. He's got them big old birthing hips like Tina Marie down to holler. I mean, there is no sense in that. That is just very off-putting, and I, I just don't like it. Now, going on to the paint job. Paint job looks pretty good getting up close he's got sludge's head the head looks right got a little gray right there got some teeny tiny teeny tiny blue eyes gray face got red there for the chest 
some black in the center, and he's got a big-ass hole in his chest like he done been shot. Then he got glossy black for the, hell, I don't know, there's a bottom of the dinosaur feet. His crotch is black. His fists are black. He's got some gold toes. And that's pretty much it. So let's go over that art articulation for the figure. Is the arms can do a complete 360. He's got a chest rotation, which is weird. Let's see, legs. What the fuck? Look at this. The damn legs are attached to the top of his hip. This thing, this figure is just goofy. So that's pretty much it for robot mode. Let's go ahead and get this figure transformed and transformation, I guess, pretty easy. Go ahead and rotate him at the waist. And then you're going to bring the dinosaur head up. And then what you want to do is rotate these goofy ass legs up and around. Go ahead and click them together. If I can get them clicked together. Weird ass shit. All right, get that glued together, glued together, stuck together like so. Then we're going to peg these sections right here, the arms, and you're going to fit the fist right there through the butt. Right, that ain't the butt. The, the hole there on the back, get that through there and attach the dinosaur head, and then you got this goofy-ass looking dinosaur. I mean, my God, this thing just looked horrible. I could get better figures from the dollar store. And this is supposed to be one of them gigantic long neck or whatever, but you bring in Slag, and look at Slag is so much bigger than Sludge, it, it just don't look right. It just, oh shit. Okay, didn't spill it. That make a hell of a mess right there. So anyway, he, he's really tiny. He's got a big old hole through the chest. Ain't got much of a tail. He's got a little tail like my dog, a little nubby tail. And he looks like he's taking a dump. And that's from my good buddy, Deluxe Baldwin. If you ain't watched his channel, he's a good guy. And he's got a good old thick mountain man beard. He looks like a moonshining buddy of mine named Jeremy he lives up the hill. But he said this guy looked like he's taking a poop. And I have to agree. This figure is just, I don't like it at all. Now, paint application's pretty good. You got the paint right there on the dinosaur head. Good molding. Got little tiny blue eyes once again. He's got the uh, red right there for the Autobot symbol. Got them feet there on the top. Black on the bottom. And the dinosaur mode ain't got no articulation whatsoever. I mean, nothing moves at all. Everything's in place. So, yeah, I don't like it. All right, now we're going to get this figure transformed into his combined mode. And what we're going to do is you go ahead and take his arms and swing him right up like he's surrendering. And then you're going to rotate around right there these hip joint things, just like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring these up and around. And there's this little clip or see his pig right there. You're going to get that up into this section. Where is it? Damn it. Okay, get this right here. Get that pegged in. Do it here on the other side. Okay, that slides into place. Make sure you got both slide into place. Pain ass sometimes. And that's it. That is his combined mode. And then what you do is you take this section right there from slag. Go ahead and stick that into the big old hole on his chest. And now you got Slag right here. He's already transformed in his combined mode. And if you want to see a video on this guy, check out Patriot Prime Reviews. I'm going to stick it up there at the top. So take a look at that. Now all you're going to do, move his arms down. Then slide this piece right here. You got these three pegs, one, two, three. And they're going to go into them holes right there. So get them locked in and in place all pegged together that actually went together pretty good and then you got the arms see the hole there goes to the peg there get that pegged in come on now get in there all right that's all pegged in and there is the upper body of the Varkaner bot he got legs hanging off of him so yeah that, that, that looks all right it don't don't look uh, near as bad as what the individual robot looked like for sludge 
this guy looked pretty good. And you just, just thought of something. This guy, his crotch is sludge. Now, I don't know if you ever had sludge in your crotch. But man, that, that ain't a nice feeling. I remember one time I was out there hunting and uh, I'd had a big old breakfast of like six Slim Jims, Mountain Dew, and uh, Doritos. And I swear I got the bubble guts and it hit me so fast. I didn't have time to make it nowhere. And it was horrible. So you talk about sludge in your crotch. But to make a long story short, I told my hunting bunnies, they don't need to buy no underwear next year because I done planted them a fruit of the loom tree up there at Miller's Farm. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There is the combined form of Volcano Bot. All right, now for some quick size comparisons. Here's the Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Sludge with Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Generation 1 Sludge and the other Legacy Core Class Dinerbot, Slag. And as you can see, Slag looks so much better in robot mode too. Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Dinerbot Sludge is just not a good figure. The problem with this guy is he's designed all around that gimmick to turn him into Volcano Bot, and the robot mode and the dinosaur mode suffer for it. He's just a weird ass looking Transformer and I am not a fan. Plus, he didn't come with any weapons, and what's the fun of having a Transformer if he can't fight the other Transformers? So yeah, not a big fan of this guy, but if you wanna make that Volcano Bot, you're gonna have to get him. So there you go, guys, the brand new Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Diner Bot Sludge. So, is this little core class Dinerbot sludge worth your hard-earned money? Absolutely not. This figure looks like crap. Unless you like their figures with them big old thick hips. And, I mean, this robot mode, it, it just, it's stupid as hell. In the dinosaur mode, well, it's stupid as hell too. It just don't look right. I guess the only reason for buying this figure is if you wanted to put it together to make that volcano bot or whatever the hell that's called. But other than that, I don't recommend this. You could save that $10 and get your kids some of them beef hot dogs instead of the ones made out of lips and assholes because this figure here, it just ain't worth the money. In my honest opinion, it's just a piece of shit. <coughs> now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I got this super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I gotta give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Guys, once again, this is Hillbilly Prime signing out. God bless America.